Hello everyone, welcome to SFDC Stop and in this video we are going to learn about classes in ES6, right? So if I just talk about basics, I can simply say that a class is nothing but a user defined type which is going to have some data members and some member functions. So if I talk about data members, then these are the variables which are going to store some data and if I talk about member functions, then these are the functions which are defined inside my class, right? So before ES6, we used to follow a syntax like this. So let's say I'm defining a class which is named as car and this class is going to receive two parameters inside the constructor uh, name and speed and inside my constructor I can simply do this dot name is equal to name and uh, this dot speed is equal to speed. So this is how I used to define a class before ES6 and if I want to have a function inside my class as well I can do it like this dot prototype dot uh, let's say the name of the function is show speed and this is nothing but a function and uh, inside this function I can display the speed of my car so the speed of car is this dot speed right and uh, let's say I want to create a new car so my car name is Audi so Audi is a new car which is having a name as Audi and the speed of the car is 200 and uh, I can simply do Audi dot show speed so let's execute this code and uh, let's see what I have done over here, right? So if I execute this code, you can simply see I am getting the speed of my car, which is nothing but 200, right? So what I have done, I have defined a car class here and uh, the constructor of the car is defined here itself and it is receiving two parameters, name and speed. And it is also initializing two data members of my class. So the first data member is this which is having a value of name and the second data member is this which is having a value of speed. So whenever you are referring to data members of your class you, you can refer to uh, those data members by using the this keyword and the other variables can be simply referred to by using their own names right. So inside my class I was having a function which is named as show speed and inside the function I was just displaying the speed of the car. So this function is actually a part of the car class that is why I have used car dot prototype dot uh, show speed which is nothing but the name of the function and uh, this function can can uh, access the variables of my class so simply I can access the data member speed here and I can display the speed and uh, below this I can I have actually uh, kind of initialized uh, a new car which is having a name as Audi and a speed as 200 and this car or you, I can say the instance of the car is assigned to a variable named as Audi and uh, then I call the show speed function and so I am able to display the speed of my car which is nothing but 200. So this is a syntax that we used to follow before ES6. Let's have a look at a syntax after ES6, right? So after the ES6, it is very easy to define a class inside JavaScript. I can do it simply like other programming languages. So if I want to define a class, I can use a class keyword and uh, the name of my class is car, right? And inside my class, first of all, I want to have a constructor so I can define a constructor inside my class by using the constructor keyword and uh, it is going to receive two parameters name and speed and inside my constructor I can simply do this dot name is equal to name and uh, this dot speed is equal to speed right and apart from this what I want I want a function inside my class so I can simply define a function inside my class as this show speed and uh, this function is going to do nothing it is just going to display the speed of my car so i can simply say that console.log this dot speed right so let's say i want to define a new car and the car name is audi so i can simply do let audi is equal to new car and the name of the car is audi and uh, the speed of the car is 200 right and uh, after that i can call my show speed function which is present inside my class and uh, I think that's it, right? So this is how you can define a class car in ES6. So let me clear the console and let me run this again. So here you can see I'm getting the output 200 again. So if the speed of the car is 300, I can simply run this code again and I'm getting the speed at 300, right? So this is how we can define a class inside JavaScript now. And uh, I can simply use the class keyword to define a class and uh, I can use the constructor keyword to define a constructor. The data members are referred by the this keyword and uh, you can initialize the data member inside your constructor and you can use your data members inside your functions. So the last thing that I want to show you 
is how you can define private variables inside your class. So uh, these are the variables that are defined inside the class are all public, right? So let's say I just want to do uh, audi dot name, and uh, I also want to do audi dot speed. So I can simply do it like this. Let me comment this one, and I can clear the console and I can run it again. So you can see here I am getting the name as audi and I am getting the speed as 300 because these variables are public variables, right? So how you can define private variables inside a class in JavaScript? So earlier this was not there, but recently private variables are also introduced and uh, you can define a private variable inside the class uh, by using the hash, right? So let's say I want to have a private variable which is named as color. So I can simply say hash color and uh, I can receive color inside my constructor and I can do this dot color sorry this dot hash color is equal to color right and uh, if I do here show color uh, show color which is another function and this is going to show the color of the class so this dot color right so let's say I'm adding a, another console log here and I'm going to display audi dot color so if I run this code let me just clear the console and if I run this code, you can simply see I'm getting a syntax error that a private field color must be declared in an enclosing class. So it is showing me that this color variable is private and you cannot access it outside the class, right? So let me give a color as well because I haven't given a color yet. So the color name is red. Let me just run this again, but I'm getting the same error that uh, I cannot access the color outside the class, right? And if I want to access this color, what I what I can do, I can simply call my function audi dot show color. And uh, if I run this code now, I can see here that I'm getting an output as red. This color variable is private. So this can be accessed inside the constructor of the class. And this can also be accessed inside the function of the class. But this variable cannot be referred outside the class. So if I do console dot log audi dot color, sorry, audi dot hash color, then this is not allowed, right? So this is not allowed. So this is how you can define private variables inside your JavaScript class. All you need to do is to append an hash before your variable name. And wherever you are using your variable, you can just use this hash along with your variable name, right? Okay, so this is how you can define a class before ESX and this is how you can define a class after ESX in your JavaScript. So that's all for this tutorial, everyone. I hope you liked it. Let me know your feedback in the comments down below and uh, I'll see you in the next video where we'll learn about inheritance in JavaScript, right? So till then, have a good day. Bye-bye.